G'day everyone, welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today I'm going to give you a look at one of my um, favourite figures that I have, one of my most prized possessions. It's this one here, the Lava Reflection Darth Vader. This was a uh, Target exclusive in America. There was only ever 50,000 of them made and it sold out in the first morning. It's um, definitely one of the most expensive figures you can get that's come out in recent years. This was released in around 2005. I'll just quickly read to you from the back of the packet. Lured by promises of unlimited power, Anakin gives up everyone and everything he cares about and falls to the dark side of the Force. Encased in the black armour that will come to strike fear throughout the galaxy, he is no longer Anakin Skywalker. He is now Darth Vader. As you can see, it's got a... Um, sort of a pinky reddish tinge to all of his um, armour. As if he's standing in front of lava on Mustafa. Of course, I've never taken this one out of its packaging and don't plan to. It's one of my um, favourite figures that I own. I do actually want to get another one of these one day so I can have one out of its box as well. Okay, another one I want to give you a quick look at is this one here. It's the uh, obviously silver Darth Vader. There was about five different figures released in all silver like this. There was also Darth Vader, this Darth Vader R2-D2, a Sand Trooper, Boba Vett, and also an Episode 2 Clone Trooper. I have all five of those. I think there's five in the set. And I'll give you a look at the others, no doubt, another day. His lightsaber is removable. His helmet's not. He's not very articulated. But um, this is more just one to stand and display. I really like it. It's really nice shiny silver. So there you have it, two of my favourite Darth Vader figures. This was released um, around about 2004 or five, something like that. It was part of the Saga range, I'm pretty sure. You can um, hunt one of these down on eBay at a good price. Definitely I advise you to get it. It's definitely uh, probably the second rarest Darth Vader you can get. There was another silverish type of Darth Vader re re released um, in a New York comic convention about 2002 or something. And it's even more expensive than this one. I plan on getting that one day too. Anyway, all the best to you, and may the force be with you.